So today I'm going to be doing my 25 weeks update. I'm 25 weeks, 2 days. And, um, yeah, so let's get started. I'm also, oh, I'm also going to be showing you a couple of baby buys that I did. I know I said I was not going to buy anything because, like, I want to wait till after our baby shower and stuff. But there were such good deals that I couldn't give them up. It's not a lot, but it's a few things. Um, so far this week, I've been feeling good. However, I do have noticed that um, I'm getting more tired again. Like, I'm just, like, really tired. Like, I feel really sluggish all the time. But, I mean, I've been okay. Um, I guess I've been more tired because I haven't been able to sleep. Um, like I mentioned last time, it's really hard for me to lay on my left side. So I sleep on my right side, but then that's getting uncomfortable also. So, um, her little girl is moving around, um, a lot. I was just about to say her name. So I'm going to go ahead and link the video of the name reveal if y'all want to see it. I did say, um, we had this name picked out since before I got pregnant. Um, the middle name is still in doubt. It's pretty much settled, but um, since my brother and sister-in-law actually took our middle name for my niece, um, they did ask us and we said it was fine, but they're having a really hard time deciding on a name, so we said it was just fine. Um, and we did have like a second option, but we're still kind of debating it a little bit so um i'll go ahead and let y'all know on that but if you do want to see her name um like the reveal i did go ahead and click on the video because i'm probably gonna say <laughs> throughout um because like just right now it's about to slip out but yeah so her name is ariana um that's how we pronounce it um i like i really liked um the name Ariana, um, I know a couple, I've known of people who named their kids Ariana, but I don't like how it looked with the A, and then on top of that, um, a lot of people spell it with an A, but pronounce it Ariana, and I don't like how Ariana sounds, so like, I just, we decided to put it with an E because that's how we want it to be pronounced, so we don't want her to be correcting, um, everyone and be like no this is how you say it but um also a nice thing about that name is um i've mentioned eric um his name is we call him eric um he has like another name but it's like really long so but he's always been called eric and then my name is michelle however um i was baptized as diana michelle diana michelle like um Apparently, everyone, when before when I was, when my mom was pregnant with me, everyone had decided or, like, they had told everyone that my name was going to be Diana Michelle. Well, um, my aunt was my godmother for baptism. And she, like, since I was born, everybody called me Diana. Everybody called me Diana. No one called me Michelle. And so when I got baptized and they, like, filled out the paperwork and, like, the holy water on me or whatever they baptized me as diana michelle and then it wasn't until like i was seven and i started school in the united states because i did i was born here but we did um move to mexico so um it was not until i got baptized over here that i realized that my name was legally only michelle so since i was about like pretty much my family like my older like my aunts and uncles um they call me Diana and but like now it's kind of more towards Michelle because it, ha it has been a long time and like all my cousins call me Michelle and stuff but like my brother and my dad and um my mom sometimes um they always call me D Diana and um oh so I'm getting off track so yeah so um we just so her name will be Ariana and then so it's like a combination of Eric's name and my Diana name. So that was really, we thought it was really cute. So um, yeah, we've had that name chosen for like a couple of years now. But um, yeah, so I'm blobbing.
no stop concentrate okay so like i was saying i can't sleep um she does move she is moving a lot um it's not that like i'm uncomfortable when i sleep it's just i can't sleep like i don't know why there's so many things in my head i guess i don't even know but i have been very hormonal um this week has been like times a million and a more million and infinity millions because i have been crying for the stupidest things and it's not just crying or like i get irritated um like i can't sleep so if any everything wakes me up i can hear our air conditioning turn on something that i never was able to like i feel like it's just my sense my ear senses getting ready to hear rihanna when she cries at night but i can hear everything i can hear a door open i can probably hear a mosquito flying <laughs> because and it wakes me up it's just like i wake up immediately so i guess that's why like i'm barely falling asleep and then the air conditioning goes on like a car passes outside or anything and um i wake up so because it makes me very irritated and um annoyed so like if eric or like my mom well i don't think my mom has said it said anything but like my mother-in-law or my sister-in-law or my brother or anyone tells me anything i'll like go off on them for like the stupidest thing but yeah <laughs> so um besides that um everything has, has gone good i guess um i there's two things that i am not liking at all um i sweat i'm sweating so much like it's so hot. i live in texas so it's like hot but I have the the ACs running on so much so high like I'm still hot though and then I sweat but like I'm not a person that sweats a lot normally but like I've been sweating especially like when I'm sleeping or like laying on bed my and it's like my neck my like all of this like my neck and like my upper boobs sweat so much and it's so annoying because like who sweats from their neck but um I don't know what that's about but um it's like I'm constantly having to clean myself up like my hair can't be down anymore it has to be up all the time because I'm I sweat <laughs> but um yeah and then also I did notice there are a couple of stretch marks on my belly now they're right below my belly button and they're like this big and like really light but I did was able to see them um it's i don't know i it, i don't know why they're there i guess it's just because my belly button's stretching like i've mentioned i'm pretty sure it's gonna pop out um it's shallower and then it's wider so maybe that's why but there are a couple stretch marks like right below my belly button um it took me a while to see them just because i honestly have been checking like every day because i am so itchy like it's crazy my belly itches all the time I'm constantly putting on creams but it just goes away for a couple of minutes and then it's back and then I'm like not scratching I'm trying to not itch but it's just so hard but yeah so I have been checking and then um I I don't know how I noticed them but I did um I can't see that low anymore <laughs> But I was able to see them, and then I told Eric, and he's like, yeah, he's like, you can't even see them. But I was like, no, you can't. And I was freaking out about that, too, but I didn't freak out as much as I thought, so that's good. Um, the baby does like to stay, like, below, like, low. Well, kind of, she's, she usually gets, she's usually, like, at my belly button or lower. She doesn't really come up here. I don't know why, but, um so maybe that's why like the stretch marks also because she is she does kick me a lot right there so i don't know if it like kick like moves up or something or like stretches to that um i have she has been moving a lot um the kick the kicks i'm able to see now i don't really see i'm not able to see her like roll and stuff like i can't see my belly move that much yet but you can see it like twitch and i um Ariana, I don't know why you don't, you're not like moving when I record you, but um, that's fine. This is getting really long and I thought I wasn't going to talk a lot about anything. Um, 
Um, I think I'll go ahead and show you the things I've bought because this is getting a lot longer. I actually bought all of this yesterday. Um, bought a couple bows at Claire's. They were a dollar, so I couldn't give them up. Um, and I immediately thought of this for Thanksgiving. I don't know why. But we'll see how bows and her hair work. I'm buying a lot of bows and I don't know if they're going to work. But this is the first one. And then I bought this one also. I thought it was really cute. Um, yeah, and this one was also a dollar. Um, I bought this at Walmart and this were a dollar also. They were originally $3.96 but they were reduced to a dollar. And it came with two so I was like, yeah. And then these also, they were $0.50 cents and they're normally a dollar. So I was like, hey, sure, why not? Um, I bought a bunch. But, um, I don't know if I'm going to be using them on her, like I mentioned, but they're cute, so might as well have them. They were cheap, too, so, yeah. That's all of the hair bows I have bought so far. Um, I did buy her more head material, I guess, at Old Navy. I found this, and it was so cute. Um, my sister-in-law actually was like, hey, buy this. So I was like, sure, because she was like, she's going to be born in the cold so yeah and then this one which made me think of um what's it called what's it called christmas <laughs> um so for christmas i thought it would be really cute for a photo shoot and then oh the other it was a um a dollar the other beanie and then this one was 247 or i think it was cheaper than that so I bought it and then I bought her yeah I think that one was also 97 cents and then I bought her this sweater because it was like two dollars so I was like hey of course I'm gonna buy it and then I really liked how it has like fur in the inside and yeah and then that's all from Old Navy and then at Carter they were having that like a 30% off sale so um I bought her this and it's like a fox I thought it was so cute and then it says perfect in every way which you are baby and then um this one i thought this was like it reminded me of like snowflakes i don't know why if they're flowers just noticing that right now but i thought it would be appropriate for the winter weather and then i got her this one to match i don't even know if it's gonna match it says hashtag too cute and i since i have bought the yeah, this is not going to match at all. Never mind. But um, I when I saw it, it reminded me of the hoodie. So I was like, I mean the beanie. I don't know why I keep calling it hoodie. So I was like, yeah. And then I bought this one. I said I was going to give this to Eric on Father's Day. But I don't think I am. Because he already saw it. So it doesn't matter. It says, um, I'm cute. Mom's cute. And dad's lucky. And I thought it was funny. Because I was like, see Eric, you're not cute. You're or pretty or whatever you're just lucky for having us so yeah i don't know why the dogs are barking not even my dogs but that's all i bought this is probably really long now i said i was not gonna make it long but yeah so i'll go ahead and show you my belly and see you next time and okay and i am wearing eric's shorts um i was wearing jeans but they it's too hot and they're not working out <laughs> anymore even though their maternity is just too hot so i decided to take them off until i went outside so that's with the shirt on and then like you can see my short shirts don't go all the way down anymore so yeah um this is without the shirt and then i think it is getting a little bit bigger but not that much um i don't know if you can see the stretch marks they're like down here but yeah that's pretty much my belly. See you next week and subscribe to hear more about Ariana's little journey. Bye.